I really wanted to kick off the weekend. It's Friday, so I was hoping to get a little bit of sketching done, kind of get my brain shifting from day job mode into artistic mode. But I don't know, I'm just hitting like a true afternoon slump anytime after like 2 or 3 p.m. It's just a rough time for me, but I'm hoping that if I doodle, have some coffee, watch some YouTube that maybe my brain will start to work the way I want it to. Here's hoping. Although the coffee I made is kind of gross. It's decaf, and I was hoping that it would hit the spot without uh, triggering some anxiety, but I don't know. I might have to make a cup of the real stuff, but we'll see. I'm going to try to make this work. <laughs> bit of an interruption. In my neighborhood there was some stuff going on. But anyways, uh, I feel like every time I sit down to sketch, I go in with like weird expectations. And even though I call it like my ugly sketchbook, I feel like when I see other people's doodles, they're somehow still like cohesive and fun. And like mine start off, at least in my opinion, like pretty janky. Uh, like as you could see that first page, it's just like a smudgy weird little noodle cat and like a bunch of squigglies and a flower and then I quickly got bored, decided I was done with that page, and kind of just started drawing some stuff from Pinterest. But I've been trying to see this more as, like again, like a warm-up. A way to both warm up my muscles and my brain. And because I haven't been in this like good regular practice of sketching, I think that it's just made it a little bit harder for me to jump in. That and the fact that I think I'm going in with like much too high of expectations. But anyways, I'll show you a few pages from here just so you kind of understand what I'm talking about. And if you are an artist yourself, you feel maybe a little less bad about your sketchbook maybe being a little more on the messy side. So like the first page, like I said, just weird little doodles. And the other page I did was kind of this weird little angel. Just found a weird picture on Pinterest, kind of sketched it. Some doodly little candles and foliage. I think some of it is I'm just not feeling super inspired. And so it's kind of hard to know what to draw. Which my other main thing I do when I don't know what to draw is I draw cats. So here's a little guy. But to show like kind of what else this sketchbook is, I've got some eyes that I drew from reference just for fun to warm up. I also got a new art book and it was an excuse to look at it. <laughs> uh, but a lot of it is just like really messy and kind of scribbly. And sometimes I'm like mapping out ideas. Sometimes they're actual spreads, but a lot of it is just like a place to brainstorm. I actually like don't mind this page too much. Maybe I'll do something <laughs> in regards to this later. So anyways, I think that I'm probably done for today. My brain is feeling like mush and I have some ideas for tomorrow that I think 
will be really fun for a fresh new day, some supplies I haven't really touched, and I kind of want to just focus on my creativity and having fun with art. I have some other things coming down the pipeline. I really want to get some goals in order later, but I think for now, the bare minimum is just making some art. And with that, um, I'm going to go take a walk or something. Do something that isn't sitting at a desk. Good morning, kind of. It's like 11... It's 11.43. It's still morning. But I've actually been in here drawing for a bit. Mostly just drinking some coffee, having kind of a relaxing morning, and just kind of doing a bunch of little sketchbook pages. And by a bunch, I mean three. That's pretty good, you know? And I feel adequately warmed up. A few of these are good, a few of them are really ugly, and that's, that's normal. But I'm realizing that I don't have very much of this sketchbook left, and I think I could finish it today but I don't know if I want to. I have a few different ideas. Um, so maybe I'll do a little bit more in my sketchbook, but I also wanna try this out. This is like sort of like a graphite paper and you can use it to trace and transfer sketches onto paper. And I thought that that might be nice, especially for if I wanted to use maybe a more unconventional um, canvas type like wood, something that's not paper, something that I can't use like a light box to transfer sketches. So I thought I would try that out and maybe also, hmm, let's see if I can find it. Try out some of this, oh, sorry, the camera is shaking. I should know better than this. I also wanted to try out this Arches hot press paper. I kind of tried using it before, um, but I took the paper off the block, which kind of helps keep it flat. And I've realized that I'm really heavy handed with water and might uh, do me better to go a little lighter on it. But I thought maybe I could try both of those things out and also something else. So I got this little easel for Christmas, it's really cool. It actually like folds up into like a briefcase type thing and it's got some drawers. It's from my lovely mother. And I purposefully got this to help my neck when like sketching and painting, but I haven't actually used it yet and I'm kind of afraid to because it's different. So maybe while I continue to sketch, I will try to use this and then I will move on to some other thing.
So I actually really like this. My wrist hurts a little bit, but I feel like it's a lot less strain on my neck and it forces me also to use my arm movement a little more, which I think leads to slightly more fluid drawings. I mean, I only did one little sketch, but it was fun and I actually really liked it. But I'm really eager to try this. I've seriously never used this stuff before, but I looked into getting some when I was looking into painting on wood a little more, or even, um, whatchamacallit, painting on like black paper, things that are just hard to use a light box with. So I guess it comes with these little tools. I think this is for the tracing. And sheets of this paper. It smells a little weird. Okay, there's like no directions <laughs> on how to use this. So I'm going to experiment a little bit. Okay, so I put a sheet like here. Weirdly enough, it's not like coming off, like there's no residue, which I was kind of worried considering this is like a graphite paper. Or sorry, not graphite. Graphite, this is carbon paper. are really interesting. They almost kind of feel like crochet hooks. But rather than draw something new, I'm gonna see if I can like trace this sketch on to the next page. Not trying to make this good. I'm literally just trying to figure out how this stuff works. See if that did anything. Yeah, that like totally transferred. In fact, it actually transferred a little bit on both sides. Wow, that's interesting. I wonder what happens if I press less hard. Let's try that again. So you can get it lighter too. And I'm curious if this stuff erases well. One of the ways I often try to lighten my sketches if I'm painting is with a little kneadable eraser because it doesn't damage the paper. Now that doesn't fully work, but it helps a little bit. I guess the other thing to test would to be if it smudges with water, because that actually is kind of important. That's one reason why I often don't use graphite to transfer over sketches, but if I'm painting, especially with like gouache or acrylic paint, And even water doesn't smudge it, which is really nice if I'm using it to paint over. So I might have to try this out. 
Not gonna lie, I really thought that it wasn't going to work as well as it does. Especially when it comes to smudging. Like, I'm used to stuff like this. Like, I was expecting it to, like, rub off on my fingers. And it does not. Uh, so I'm actually really excited to try this on actual watercolor paper. See how it holds up with paint. And a little more water than I tested with this. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna print out a sketch. Um, one that I haven't painted yet, but want to get the chance to and see how this all works. Hey, this is voiceover Emily, and I just thought I would pop in and talk a little bit about this painting, but mostly my experience with the hot press paper. So just for a little information, hot press paper is very smooth paper, whereas a cold press paper has a rougher texture and in my opinion tends to soak up water a little bit better because of that texture. So working with this very smooth paper was actually quite different for me. First of all, it takes washes a lot differently. It's a lot more difficult to get a smooth gradient and the watercolors disperse on the paper a little bit differently. I also found that using brushes that hold a lot of water didn't actually work as well on this paper and synthetic brushes worked much better. I was a little bit worried as to if this would even turn out at all, especially since I was filming it, I didn't want it to be too bad. But as I started layering and adding more contrast and dark colors, it started turning out a lot better. Even though it was a little bit streaky, again, something about the smoothness meant that the paint didn't really flow across the paper as well, which I don't know, doesn't make sense to me. I would think that if it was smooth, it would be better, but it turns out that the rougher texture kind of gives the paint something to grab onto. I'm sure there are some techniques out there that I could familiarize myself with, but for now, I think that this was a pretty good starting point. I mean, not even really starting point. This isn't the first time I've used hot press paper, but a good reintroduction to the paper and I've got a whole pad of it. So maybe I'll figure out how to use it better over time.
Now, one way that this paper shines is when you start to use ink and colored pencil. The line work went on really smoothly, and while I kept the line work a little bit more rough, the pen just glided across the paper. So while the paint doesn't necessarily go on the way I'm used to, the pen was just a dream. And then later, the colored pencil, it was just so smooth and great, and it really just added to the piece. The aftermath. So I'm actually pretty happy with how the whole piece turned out and that I finished it in like one sitting. I haven't done that with a painting in a while. Most of the time I kind of break it up, but I also wasn't expecting it to turn into like a full blown illustration. I was kind of just testing out the paper. I found that it doesn't take a lot of paint, but it does take colored pencil really well. So I hope to kind of take that into account next time that I use it. But I am quite tired. I actually ended up, let's see, it is 2.55. I sat down here this morning at 9.30 and I've been going at it for a while. I've taken a few little breaks, but like nothing more than like 10 minutes. My body hurts. I just don't think I'm quite made to sit for such long hours. And it is also a weekend, so I think I'm going to take the rest of the day to chill, maybe go on a walk if the weather doesn't get really crazy. And I don't know, just have a good time, I guess. But thanks for joining me and all my rambling. Hope you enjoyed some of the sketching and painting, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.